by not knowing that we have it to start with. Well, we got it, and we're going to use it. And it doesn't come from the big corporate political parties that are bought and paid for by Wall Street. Their choices are not our choices. Their candidates are not our candidates. Their economy is not our economy. Their government is not our government. Their prisons are not our prisons. Their police are not our police. And their endless wars are not our wars. And their recovery for the few is not our recovery. The one percent is quaking in their boots. Because we're waking up. focuses on independent Green Party, Green Party candidates, and positive Green New Deal, Eco Jobs for the Economy Solutions. Hi, I'm Brooklyn Kinley, Independent Green Party candidate for the Arlington School Board, and I ask for your vote. Green Party Green TV focuses independent Green Party, Green Party candidates. And I'm Gail Farrell Parker, Independent Green Party candidate on the ballot for Fairfax County Board of Supervisors. We need more Green Party candidates on the ballot. Independent Green Party, Green TV is about Green Party candidates and Green New Deal Eco Jobs for the Economy solutions. Green, green growth is smart growth. We need more trains, less traffic, and our Green New Deal includes strong support for our senior population. Good evening. I ask you to vote for me, Corazon Foley, as your Springfield supervisor. It is time for change, for the incumbent is not doing his job, particularly for seniors like me. He failed to redress the unfairness with other districts having 17 permanent senior centers while Springfield District, none. Over the last eight years, I founded and developed with county officials, churches, and volunteers the Burke West Springfield Senior Center Without Walls that was recognized with national, state, and local awards, including Community Champion and Lady Fairfax. We have petitioned for expanded activity space as our fair share of county resources and met with the incumbent on November 13, 2014. But all he did was say good words for the press and then ignored our many requests to develop a working group for solutions towards Springfield Senior Center facilities. So, I am applying to do the job as the Springfield Supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> I have the education, an MBA in finance, and public service experience. 30 years as an intelligence analyst with the U.S. State Department. I believe in good governance based on the rule of law, civil rights, environmental responsibility, and the market economy. I believe in keeping our taxes low and reforming mismanaged programs, like the Lorton Workhouse, for which he voted for $3 million more without requiring reforms, even after he himself criticized the $46 million of taxpayer money, our money already wasted. I am an independent Green Party candidate with no fundraising spending $1,000 of my own money, excuse me, money of my husband and me. <laughs> <laughs> the incumbent has raised over $400,000, 
And by May 2015, he had spent some $300,000 demonstrating to one and all that he is a big spender of other people's money. <laughs> he objected, like me and other taxpayers, to the 27% pay raise for supervisors as full-time jobs. But if he does not work full-time, then he is not qualified for the job. And if he is reelected and remains a part-timer, he should return the $20,000 annual pay raise that he would not deserve. As supervisor for eight years, he shares blame for what he calls failed policies of this board, including the highest commercial vacancy rate since 1991 and the long-delayed response to support the family of the unarmed man shot by a policeman on August 29, 2013 in our very own Springfield District. As your full-time Springfield supervisor, I will serve as a fiscal conservative who believes in social justice. I pledge to cut the supervisor's half a million dollar annual budget to fund senior health programs. I would work with the school superintendent's budget task force to improve cost effectiveness with competitive teacher salaries. I am very proud that my own daughter-in-law has been an outstanding special education teacher and she is involved in streamlining the special education program. I am the founding coordinator of the Edgewater Neighborhood Watch, working with the police to ensure safe and secure communities. I ask for your vote for Corazon Foley for Springfield Supervisor. Thank you very much. Watching the Independent Green Party, Green Party, Green TV. I'm Kerry Campbell, Brooklyn Kenley, Gail Farrell Parker. We're talking about uh, Gail, For Gail Farrell Parker's life through pictures. We want to introduce you to Gail and make sure you know as much about Gail for Real Parker so uh, you can vote. What's up next, Gail? <laughs> the next my senior graduation picture. Uh, uh, that's all I have to say about that. It's just so it's <laughs> well, great. Well, it's pretty awesome, you right? <laughs> pictures. That's find you. The challenge Look is at all find the you. different oh, hairstyles. There you are, Gail Parker, right down there. That's a lovely picture, Gail. Yeah. Oh. Now you're a married woman in the next picture with your first baby, it looks like. Uh, yes, I got married not too long after high school, and uh, had, there's the baby, the, my son Doug. Doug? And, yes. Oh, and that's Doug. Oh, well, we, you look very proud, Mama, very happy, proud Mama uh, there. Yes, yes. Oh, wonderful. Fantastic. What's next, Gail? <clears throat> Uh, the next picture, I, I'm not sh oh, it's a picture of uh, my family as the, we were growing up. There's my son, Doug, and me in the background with my little brother and sister, a couple of cousins, and my mother. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, that looks like yeah. a picture from the early 70s. Is that? Uh, no, this, uh, yeah, it probably 70s. was 70s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so 64, you graduated. Gail Farrell Parker, <laughs> yes, independent yes. Green Party candidate for... Fairfax County Board 20 years later, I came out of the womb. Oh, <laughs> I see. Yes. 84. 84. <laughs> Gail? Yes? Guide us through. And all have given you grandchildren, all three of your children. That's right. That's yeah. right. And you have five grandchildren? Four. 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 Mm -hmm. The family tree gets yes, big. Yes. <laughs> and this looks like this is your are your children when they were little ones, right? Doug in the middle there. That's and, right. Uh, and then uh, Sonia and Cassie. Cassie. Where are you living there? It's in Oklahoma City. Okay, yeah, and you could see. Yeah. And you're working for the Air Force then? Or are you working? I was working yeah. for the Air Force, yes. And by then, are you in the Air Force as well, in not, the reserves? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Didn't get Gail, it. in a uniform, look there. Yes. Now you're in the Air Force. Yes, I, I joined the Air Force Reserve shortly thereafter. Uh, a lot of my friends were in the reserves, and I've always been... My father was... Uh, Have you always been drawn to it? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Had the picture of my father in his uniform, and I... So I joined. Are you an, an Airman Basic there, Gail, in that's, that picture? That's correct. Airman though. Basic, uh, Gail wow. uh, yeah, yeah. Parker. That's I'm right. an Air Force man. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know your stuff. I, mean, I was an Airman Basic once upon a time also. Yeah, it's not something I really you like quickly this picture. forget. <laughs> Next one, right. I really like it. Oh, yeah. uh, the Air Force. Getting right. an award. Looks like you're working for him. Actually, I do did work for him. That was Colonel McEntee, and he was awarding me my <coughs> commission. Oh, time. congrats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a big deal. Yes, it was. That's a big, big deal. Uh, I but had, you're wearing civvies. Civvies yeah, are. Yes, they um, wanted to promote me as soon as possible, so civvies as soon as they, uh, they got the order, they called me in. I was working on the base, and and um, gave me the commission. You're watching the Independent Green Party, Green Party, Green TV. I'm Kerry Campbell, Brooklyn Kenley, Gail Farrell Parker. We're talking about uh, Gail, Far Gail Farrell Parker's life through pictures. We want to introduce you to Gail and 
make sure you know as much about Gail for Real Parker so uh, you can vote right now. Uh, the absentee balloting has already started. It started on September 18th in Virginia. So if you want to go vote for Gail for Real Parker, you can do it. If you live in Fairfax County, if you're in Arlington, you can vote for Brooklyn Kendley. I'm an independent candidate for Braddock District Supervisor. If you live in Braddock, the heart of Fairfax County, uh, you can vote for me. And I'd love that if you did. What's the next picture up, Gail? Well, the next picture is a picture of my home that I left in Oklahoma and when I moved to Virginia. Okay. <laughs> well, then I left Oklahoma and went to the Pentagon. And uh -huh. so the next picture is You were in, in the, the Pentagon? Pentagon? Yes. <laughs> That's great. Yes, this I, is you uh, in the big old Pentagon, huh? That's me, right. Gail from Real Park, you look happy and delighted and you're wearing green. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was uh, very happy. I re really enjoyed working. Enjoyed your work. And yes. you're still working hard, still yes. to this day. Yes. Uh, you're graduating in the next picture from what? What degree is that, Gail? The master's degree. The master's yeah. degree. Yeah. Nice. It took me eight years to get my undergraduate degree, and it took me about eight years to get my master's degree. From? As well. Well, I'm from uh, Central Michigan University, and um, undergraduate degree was from Central State University in Oklahoma. Gail from Real Park. Yes. And here, it looks like you're getting promoted again, Gail. I'm getting an award and a rose from General Larson there. Okay. And it's, and, well, I was in the Pentagon, working in the Pentagon. Gail for Real Parker. Gail, um, as you run now for uh, Fairfax County Board of Supervisors, what's the most important issue you want people to know that you're advocating for? Well, uh, for renewable energy and for building rail, we need both of those. Uh, they go hand in hand. Uh, so we need to promote more renewable energy in Fairfax County. We need uh, solar panels on all of our bu public buildings and uh, on our homes and our businesses. And uh, we can... Uh, we can do that. It's doable. Well, it makes money, right? That's the big reason. As everyone knows, my house produces 10 times the energy it consumes. Uh, and we can do that with every public building in the county. Of course, it's called, the uh, Green Party calls it the Green New Deal, the eco jobs for the economy, solar jobs, wind jobs, geothermal jobs, rail jobs. Brooklyn Reeds, if you would please give us some of the other independent Green Party candidates running. Yeah. Some other local and House of Delegates candidates are Sitting with us today, uh, Carrie Campbell, Fairfax County Board of Supervisors, Braddock District. Molly Lofier? Molly Lof Loffler. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. excuse me. Fairfax County Board of Supervisors, Mason District. Again, I mean, also sitting with us, Gail Farrell Parker, Fairfax County Board of Supervisors Chair. Erica Lawler, 97th District. Um, Colonel Jim Leslie, the 38th District, Annadale. Paul McIlvain, the 43rd District, Montebello, and Janet Murphy, 47th District, Arlington. And these are local and House of Delegate candidates. And I just want to, uh, Erica Lawler, the Independent Green Party candidate running for uh, House of Delegates, launched a new website this week. So I encourage you to Google it. Uh, it's just beautiful. Fantastic oh, website. You know, she has the two toddlers okay. uh, and uh, her husband, a Marine. Uh, just fantastic, and she's a conservationist, so she has some pictures of her work with owls and various other oh, things. Oh, beautiful. Gail Farrell, we're working our way through your life through pictures. Uh, what's the next one here, Gail? Well, the next picture is a picture of my family and my brother and uh, my sister, my two little sisters. So my, uh, Which, uh, that's your brother uh, here, uh, screen left. Yes, Bill. Uh, Bill. That's mm -hmm. your bill. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Hustle us on down, Gail. Okay. We're running out of time. Okay, sure. The next picture is uh, my son's graduation picture. Doug High School? Yes, it is. Yeah, all sure grown up. Like yes, he <laughs> is. All grown up. And I got to see him grow up. And the next no. picture is my son, uh, daughter Sonia. Beautiful and, uh, young lady. Yes, oh. and uh, that's great picture. And is that high school or college? That's, uh, I believe that is high school. Okay. But, uh, yeah. She did graduate from George Mason University. And the next one is my pic, uh, picture of my youngest daughter, <clears throat> Cassie. She lives in Oklahoma with my grandson, Brandon. Uh, Lovely. Yes. Yeah. Keep yeah. popping them, Gail. Yes. That's good. Uh, times, uh, are, times are wasted. <laughs> okay. Well, the next picture is an exit picture of me leaving the, the Air Force. The, the Air Force. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, with a the traditional It's so dark picture. inside. <laughs> yes, it is. And so if we could keep popping. There, the next picture is of the um, uh, conference when I worked in... Langley Air Force Base. Okay. They created the conference there, and that was a picture. But Gail Farrell like Parker, Air Force officer. Go ahead, Brooklyn. I'm sorry. I like, oh, I like the, um, the plane thing. 
Oh yeah, it, the picture. Yes, it was. Uh, Where is that located? Langley Air Force Base. Langley. Now here you are in uniform with the flag, Gail. Yes. It's your, a great uh, picture of you. Insignia. Yeah, yes, awesome. I like that my picture favorite. too. Actually, I had just retired or retired from that picture, so that's my retired picture. Yeah, and it's I think that is that one of the pictures what, did, that Colbert used in his show. Was that one of them? Uh, I, I don't recall. I've seen there are various versions of uh, the Gail Farrell Parker theme song that when Gail was on the ballot in 2006 for U.S. Senate that uh, Colbert used. I'm familiar. And of course, this <laughs> picture is perhaps the most well-known of Gail for real Parker's Because right. uh, I know what this picture is. That. that was the uh, picture you had in 2006 for U.S. Senate, right, Gail? It is, and we've used it since then a lot. Over and over, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. And it's, it's a reoccurring theme. Uh, more? Do you have more? I do, I do. Keep um, them rolling then. Let's, let's see them real quick. So the... the oh, I, Mike, the day yes. we met the mayor of New York, the independent mayor of New York, That's pretty Michael awesome. right. Bloomberg. <laughs> what a great guy he is. Yes, it's been yeah. a great campaign, and he was one of the interesting people that we saw on the campaign trail. So this, it's been really fun. Yeah. Not only is it uh, good... Do, Campaigning is it's been interesting. Yes, it has. The thing I love about Mike Bloomberg is he's just so down to earth. Didn't you think, Gail? Oh, he's yes. very Aww. down to earth. He's very, uh, very kind, and uh, of course a brilliant, brilliant guy. And he's uh, very smart. Pl mm -hmm. Pleasure to work with. Uh, another picture of your. This is uh, Sonia and her two children. Yes, it is. Uh, What's her husband's name? It, it, Matt. Okay, so this Matt is Gail Adam. Farrell Parker's daughter mm -hmm. and son-in-law, and uh, two grandchildren. Yes. Next one. Uh, the next picture is of my uh, granddaughter and my son, my son's daughter, and her graduation wow. from college. Where did she go to college and graduate from? Again? In North Carolina. North Carolina. Oh, oh, State, cool. yeah. Not far. <laughs> right, not too far. And she's in um, Japan now. And I believe we have the last picture coming up is uh, my grandson, Brandon. <laughs> and Super his cool, cute. His cool <laughs> picture there. He lives in Oklahoma. Well, so I believe that's oh, all. Oh, wow, you still have connections yeah. with the Oklahoma. That's your family's still there. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. We got through Gail for Real Parker's uh, Entire life. pictures. <laughs> and we, and oh, we hustled all through. And uh, we stay with us. Gail, we want to talk a bit more about, uh, about Green independent Green Party politics and positive proposals. Uh, you talked earlier about solar jobs and wind jobs, installing uh, rail, um, the Potomac yard, metro rail stop. Uh, tell us a bit more about that, a bit more about your positive solutions as an independent Green Party candidate. Well, saves lives, of course. Thirty-three thousand Americans killed every year on our highways. Three hundred and thirty thousand Americans injured every year. Brooklyn, uh, we have a few more candidates we want to get mentioned here before we close. Some other uh, state senate candidates are Priscilla E. Burnett, ninety-fifth House of Delegates; um, Steve Pershore, Northern Virginia Soil and Water Conservation District Director. Captain Ron Fisher, he's going for the 30th district in Arlington, and these are some of the um, state senate candidates. Ron's a state senate candidate. Yes. Very good. Thank you, uh, thank you, Brooklyn. Uh, Gail, any last thoughts? Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to introduce uh, my family to you all and uh, tell you a little bit more about me as a person. Uh, all, all along, I have insisted that our campaigns are not about me; they're about the issues. And uh, I've also been a, a strong advocate for accountability for our arms sales. And that's really a very important issue to me. Uh, and I would like to um, make sure that my brothers and sisters in the services uh, don't have to place their lives at risk unnecessarily because of illegal arms sales. So that we can make a difference there. Uh, and as I was advocating for that, I discovered the more trains and less traffic uh, uh, issue and believe firmly that that is every bit as important as the accountability for arms sales. So we advocate uh, for renewable energy, uh, 
100% renewable energy by the year 2030, which we believe is doable. Uh, and we invite you all to join us and run for office as an uh, independent Green Party candidate. Gail, looking back now, across the last, uh, this is your 11th campaign in a row, mm -hmm. the question that we discussed before the show, and, and Brooklyn uh, had an excellent question, when one runs like that, why keep running? What's the positive answer to that, Gail? Well, because we have had a, an impact on the policy, and we have uh, seen changes uh, without actually getting elected. Wow. If we run for office, then we have an impact on the policy, and more so than we do if we just have one vote. So every keep year that we're going. Keep, we going. keep going. Right. That's really cool. I like that. Rail to Dulles is being built. I mean, we already have a rail to Tyson's Corner, Virginia Rail Express, better than it ever was. More Virginians today ride rail than ever before in the history of the country. That's also true for America. And of course, the frequency of the Virginia Rail Express trains more than ever before. Potomac Yard Metro Rail looks like it's on track to be built. And of course, there's the advocacy to be done to build the new dedicated, dedicated passenger rail line under the Potomac, as well as the eight car rail car trains, just a few of them. Now, Gail, the campaigns that you run, mm -hmm. beginning in 2005 for House of Delegates in the 44th District, mm -hmm. uh, that was the first one. I have fond memories of all the doors we knocked down there. Uh, and any other memories of uh, that House of Delegates race in the 44th in the well, 2005? Well, of course, there were about 44,000 voters in that district, and uh, we began a very aggressive door-to-door -door campaign, and within the nine months, we were able to knock on every door uh, in the district. It took us all of uh, eight or nine months. And, That's uh, amazing. It is, especially uh, you know, for one person to do that. If you think about walking two uh, hours a day and sometimes six hours a day in the heat and in the cold, oh it gosh. was very challenging. But we were also able to touch um, every voter at, at some in some precincts as many as five times. Uh, we made wow. one complete mailing, That's really uh, cool. and uh, we we ran a very um, credible campaign. You ran a full-time campaign yes. that time. Yes. I remember it. You spent more money than uh, you spent money. <laughs> <laughs> and time, uh, time, time, time too. Yeah, yeah, all time is uh, time, time is important. Special. Then, of course, 2006. After that House of Delegates race was the U.S. Senate race. Uh, getting all of those signatures to get on the ballot for U.S. Senate. How many do you need? You need 10,000 valid. Uh, you need to get a certain minimum number of signatures uh, in each of the 11 congressional districts. That usually means uh, collecting double those signatures. It takes every day of the, you can only start on January 1st, and you have to complete usually by the first Tuesday in June. So you have to start collecting and run as fast and hard as you can. And it was an amazing achievement to get you on the ballot that time. Uh, your thoughts and re remembrances of the 2006 U.S. Senate campaign, Gail? Well, when we embarked on that endeavor, we weren't sure that we could actually make it on the ballot. And we kept okay. plugging away. Yeah. It, it's, it was very tenacious uh, of us to keep, that. <laughs> keep getting those signatures one at a time to get on the ballot. And once we were on the ballot, we made a difference. Bob Lewis's, really cool. uh, Bob Lewis's story uh, two weeks before the election, with 2% she negotiates. That's uh, Bob Lewis of uh, the Associated Press. That story went around the world, uh, was on the front page of uh, the New York Times. I read it in French in the Figaro uh, in Paris and also various German newspapers. Uh, a really positive and amazing uh, impact and of course the race did change, and many attributed the involvement to changing the balance of votes in the U.S. Senate in 2006. She ran for Congress in 2010. That was the first year in the first congressional district. Yes. Uh, and uh, 2010, 2012, 2014, you've run each time in the congressional district in the first district, and of course that runs down to Spotsylvania, Fredericksburg, down past, and uh, all that area. 
and there is a great hunger that we've seen out there collecting signatures all across the first district for rail for rail for yes. rail and we've Good. seen some mm -hmm. positive solutions we've seen some positive developments with the building of the expansion of the Virginia Rail of Spotsylvania and the Spotsylvania train station. And we know, we both know from being down there all those years, uh, people want more rail down there. And they want their yeah. uh, train station renovated at Fredericksburg as well. Economic opportunity for Fredericksburg to expand the bike share, to expand the walkability down there, to expand the rail train station. Uh, build it and they will come. Build it and, and that business uh, will grow down there and rail has been a key to Fredericksburg's uh, pros prosperity, I would say, based in the many years of petitioning gathering. Without a doubt. That we've been 2011 was uh, Board of Supervisors. Board of Supervisors, Mount Vernon District at that time. Mm -hmm. That was one of your best performances ever in actual votes. I believe you got almost 30% of the vote yeah. uh, in 2011. 2013, back to House of Delegates. This time uh, in the 43rd, because they redistricted you out of the 44th. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, yes. <laughs> but Scott Servold, I guess, didn't want to run against me. Don't, Again. don't, you've got to edit that out. We don't say their names. <laughs> okay. Their names. Uh, Gail, I think we've covered just about all of it. We're only five to 50 minutes over. Uh, you know, so, Gail Farrell Parker, Independent Green Party candidate for Fairfax County Supervisor Chair. Folks, we thank you so much uh, for joining and watching today. We want you to get a view of everybody mm -hmm. here Brooklyn Kendley, Arlington County School Board candidate. Gail Farrell Parker, Fairfax County Board candidate. Uh, Brooklyn, any final thoughts as we co close the show today? Um, vote for us. <laughs> <laughs> Gail? Same, vote for us, yes. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again next time on Green TV.